Oh yeah. Well how you doing folks and welcome back. It's a beautiful December morning. We had a snowstorm a couple days ago. Still got some snow on the ground. It's melting off. It's perfect weather. 40 degrees. When it's 40 degrees out I like to use my smoker. Now this just isn't any smoker. This isn't a Traeger. This isn't a Green Mountain. This is a homemade file cabinet smoker. This is one I made last year. I did a video on. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. Yesterday I took some venison and some pork butt out of my freezer. It's thawed out and I'm going to make some sausage and some homemade meat sticks. There are going to be two different types of spices in each one. One's a spice that I buy for a maple breakfast sausage, and the other is a spice that I make for these meat sticks. So I'm gonna go in and get started on that, and y'all can follow along with me. I'm grinding up some venison and some pork, and I'm going to make me some homemade sausage. I'm gonna make some breakfast sausage, and then I'm also going to make some of those meat sticks. First thing I'm gonna do is grind everything together, then I'll split it up. I'll decide how much of it's going to be homemade smoked meat sticks. I normally make jerky, but I'm trying something else. Let's see how that's going to work out. I'll let you know. There's a total of 20 pounds of the coarse ground meat. There's 18 pounds of pork and venison and two pounds of pork fat. Adding fat to any sausage will always make it better and pork fat just tastes better. Now this is a maple flavored breakfast sausage. This is enough to do 25 pounds. I have 10 pounds of ground pork and venison in here. So I've got it measured out to make 10 pounds of it. Just kind of sprinkle it over. Got to put on some gloves and mix it up. Once I have this all mixed up, I'm going to run it through the grinder again on a smaller plate. I used my larger plate to get it from chunks of meat down to a coarse grind. And once this is mixed up, I will put on my smaller plate, grind it again, make a really good sausage. I want to mix all that stuff through really well. We got the smaller plate on, so we're ready to get started again. I ended up making a little bit more of this maple breakfast sausage than I thought. Each one of these Ziploc bags has two pounds in it. These I've already frozen, taken out to my deep freeze. This is going in the refrigerator. And now I will get on with the homemade meat sticks. These are meat snacks made out of venison and pork and some spices that I put together. So I'm going to get those made and get them put on the smoker.
Well, I'm smoking this at about 180 degrees and we're wanting the internal temperature of the meat to get to 165. Right now we're at 133. It's going along just about right. We've been out here about two and a half, three hours. As soon as that gets to 165 degrees, I'll be pulling that off. One nice thing about being here in northern Colorado, we got some pretty nice neighbors. Let's see if I can turn my camera around and introduce you to one of them. Let's get this camera off here. Hang on. He's not all that impressed when I don't leave the apples out front by the gate. He doesn't like coming back here because he's all fenced in. Well, we've reached 167, so I'm going to pull them out, let them start cooling. As always, this file cabinet smoker worked flawlessly. If you'd like to learn how to build one of these, I have two videos. One was the initial build I did a little over a year ago. Then after I used it a couple of times, I made a couple of changes and I did another video on that. This file cabinet smoker will burn wood, charcoal, electric, and gas. I also use a pellet tube for smoking in it. I'll leave a link to those if this is something you're interested in. And here we have a finished product just waiting to be tested. Now this is the time of year that I really get into my element. Fall, early winter, some of the hunting seasons are over, some of them are still going on. And most of the time I've either got some mule deer, some elk, something here at the house that's been put up, put in the freezer, and I can make some good stuff out of it. Normally I'm making a lot of jerky. I got a lot of friends that like it. I send it out to them and they enjoy it. But this year I wanted to try something different. Made a couple different types of sausages. I made some maple flavored breakfast sausage and I made some of these meat sticks. And we had the breakfast sausage yesterday morning and my wife loves it, I love it. So that's a good thing, I did well with it. The meat sticks are a new thing, first time for making them. Kind of like Slim Jims, but my own recipe. I came up with this recipe, put some spices together that I like, and I went ahead and made them. I've got some of them cut up into pieces, and what kind of video would this be if I didn't at least eat something in front of you? That's pretty good. Got a little bit of a slow burn to it. You can feel it creeping up right towards the end there. I like to put a little bit of heat in there through spices. Not enough to make you miserable, but enough to taste it without ruining the flavor of the other spices. Mmm, I gotta say these turned out pretty darn good. It's a good thing because I got about eight and a half pounds of them. Mmm, my friends are gonna love me. If you're a regular here, I'd like to thank you for your support, watching my videos, sharing my videos with other people. And if this is your first time, thank you for stopping in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this one a like. Go back and check out some of my other videos. If you like the other videos, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell. You'll be notified every time I put a new video up. Try and encourage people to try something you've never done before. Don't be afraid of trying. If there's something you want to do, get out there and give it a shot. That's what I do. A lot of the things I do, I just wing it. Turns out pretty good. I've said before, Practice might not make you perfect, but it'll make you good enough. And once you get good enough, if you like it, you can even get better. It's the first week of December. We're heading into the Christmas season, and that's a season to be thankful. I appreciate the grace that God has shown me over the years, and I'm thankful that he sent his son Jesus for all of us. So I'm going to enjoy the Christmas season because I know the reason for the season. And as always, thank you for watching. Make your life an adventure. And God bless. These are good.